used to make butter. We had a churn and she would take the skim milk that she skimmed from our cow and churn it. The churn was wood and had metal straps around it to hold it together and then the plunger was a like a pole with a disc at the end that had holes in it. You'd bounce it up and down and disturb the cream until it turned to butter. Get taken. Then she'd take it out of there and put it in a wooden bowl and she had a little thing that looked something like a ping pong paddle but it had a curve. You pat the butter and get the water out of it, the, the liquid, which would, I think that's what they call whey. And she just would pour it out and pat it and pour it and pat it and pour it until you got all the liquid out of the butter. And she'd pat it into a nice little roll and, and take it down to the grocery and see if she could buy it or if she could swap it for some groceries. She spent a lot of time canning everything. And I spent a lot of time washing jars. I made up my mind I was never going to can when I grew up. I never did. But she canned over 2,000 quarts of different things in a year. She had to take, give an account to some war during World War II explained why she needed sugar. She canned peaches and pears and berries. We scoured the countryside for berries and fruit. And the place we lived had been a farm at one time and they left a lot of produce there that would grow up every year. They had a nice strawberry patch. Every year the strawberries came and they were so good. They weren't quite wild. They were but they weren't these great big ones. They were a good size and they were so sweet, so much better than the ones are now. We would pick them when they were ripe and she would make jam and jelly and jam more than jelly. We didn't care for jelly much. We liked the preserves where you got the whole, whole barrier close to it. I, just, I was just a kid. I don't remember the details except that she would or melted paraffin on the top of it after it was done. And that would seal the jar. And she made some kind of peach preserves. Everybody just loved. You could spread them on your bread. They were like strawberry preserves, only they were peaches. And she canned pears, made applesauce, and made grape juice, canned grape juice, quarter at a time. She worked very hard, very hard. We had no running water. Everything, all the water had to be carried to the house and heated on a coal stove. And then you could wash the dessert, wash everything with it. So the whole thing was much harder work than anybody realizes now. We kept us kids off at home and off the streets. <laughs>